Today I'm going to show you a complete beginner's guide of the Amazon Echo Show 5 with Alexa built in. I'm going to show you some of my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features allowing you to leave this video as an Amazon Echo Show 5 expert. On the top of the box we've got an image of the device, we've got the Amazon logo on the top, it on our desk on the back, and this little pull tab where we can go ahead and open up the box just by ripping off the pull tab like that, and the box slides right open. It's really easy open. You don't have to get out a knife or any scissors or anything. You just pull it open just like that, and inside we're presented with the device on top. So we can pull out the Amazon Echo Show and put it right here on the desk. It's got a nice language guide right here for us in the box where we can pull out that, some important information, and we can pull out an additional component like our charger in the very bottom of the box just right there. So I'll go ahead and take out the charger. I'll put the box aside and here we have the Amazon Echo Show wrapped in this nice little paper. We can go ahead and undo the wrapping there and we're presented with the Amazon Echo Show. This color is the blue color and it looks nice. We can see we've got some controls up here at the top, which we'll go over in detail. And then on the front here, we've got access to our camera, the screen, and then we've got our power cable right here over to the side. So let's go ahead and plug this up and get our Amazon Echo Show booted up for the first time and see what it looks like for the control process to set it up. So we'll flip it over to the back here and you can see the power adapter is right here you want to plug in the power adapter to the port on the very back of your Amazon Echo Show, just like that, and that will give it power, and then you'll plug the other end into your power outlet. So I'll go ahead and do that. There we go, we've got power. The Amazon logo is on. It's booting up for the very first time. And you'll need to have your smartphone nearby in order to access the Amazon app on your, your mobile phone and you can control this device using that, that mobile phone. So we'll have it load up and uh, we'll be able to add this to the companion app. So it's getting your device ready. This may take a moment. And of course you can use the link in the description below to download and purchase this product. Um, so it's got a little playing tone there. You can see a loading bar at the very bottom and it's processing um, all the information. And now it's asking us to select our language. So we can see here, select device language. We'll go ahead and select English as our language. And this Hello. is- ready for setup. Oh, it's speaking to us. So it says, was this device already set up online? To get started, use the QR code uh, that Amazon sent us. So we did have the option to have this set up automatically. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and hit no here and show you manually what this looks like when you don't have a QR code and you're getting this for the very first time. So we'll go ahead and hit no and it's going to search for networks. So now it's searching for wireless networks nearby and you're going to go ahead and select your wireless network in order to connect it to the internet. You'll need to type in the password for that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera and we'll be right back. All right, so I've typed in my Wi-Fi password. We'll hit the connect button. And from here, we will be able to connect to the internet and then allow us to set up our Amazon Echo Show and it communicates to the internet and receive information. So it's fetching registration information. Um, it knows that, you know, we purchased this on Amazon. So it says this device is registered to Justin. You can enter your password to set up your Echo. Uh, five. So we'll need to enter our Amazon password in order to proceed. So you'll need access to that if you want to go into your password manager and then we can type it in on screen right here in order to proceed to the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera and we'll be right back. So I've typed in my Amazon password, it's registering the device, and now it's registered to my account. So you can see the Echo Show 5 third gen is now registered to Justin. And by continuing, continuing you'll agree to the conditions of use and all the terms found there. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. And I'm loving the sound effects here. You can see as you press the buttons, it plays an audio tone to confirm it. So next up, first things, First, Alexa is designed to protect your privacy. You can always learn more at amazon.com slash Alexa privacy. So let's go ahead and hit continue and see what's next on the setup process. It's fetching our time zone. You can tell that we're in the Pacific Standard Time right here in North America, and we'll go ahead and hit continue. So it's got that correct. 
Next up, we are naming our device, but in previously, the previous stage, it asked where we lived and our location. It can get things like the weather and maps and routing location based off where you're living. So when you ask Alexa um, a certain question, it'll know where, where the device is at, and then it can route you to the proper response. And then after you select that address, you can have the option to skip it there if you don't want to enter your address and give Alexa that information. And then next up is the device name, which here you can go ahead and put in the name of the device. Um, and this will appear on your Amazon account. So give this device a name to play music, call, drop in, or um, you know, just this device is specifically located uh, so you know where it is in the house and how you can stream to it or connect to it wirelessly. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. We'll keep this default name as Justin's Echo Show 5 and we'll hit continue. It names the device and next up it's loading and updating the OS here. So it looks like we've got device updates available. Your Echo Show 5 third gen device will be updated to the latest software. This can take about 10 minutes once the download is complete. And then it has the option here to press the download and install button. So we'll go ahead and updating do that. Updating this device. It speaks out loud. It lets us know device is updating. This can take up to 10 minutes. Do not unplug. So highly important that it doesn't lose power while it's updating. And we can see here that it's downloading system updates. It's about 15% complete. And um, you know this can take some time. So we'll go ahead and let this update and we'll resume the video when the update is complete. Alexa just said, I'm back, let's continue. So it went through the update process, it restarted, and now it's asking us what room is the Echo Show in. So we can come over here, uh, we've got a few rooms already set up, and you can go here and select whichever one. Um, so we've got groups, office and main room, common rooms. I wanna stick this one in the office, I'm not sure. Oops, I selected the wrong one there. Um, but it looks like it'll go ahead and Put this in the main bedroom for now and then I'll show you how you can change that in the app later. So you can choose clock and photo display and here your clock and photo display can always be updated in settings. So we can have things show like our Amazon photos or we can select seasonal options, nature options, travel options, art, transitional joy. I like this clock right here. I'm going to select transitional joy. It has you know the big large letters for the numbers. I like that. I'm going to select that and hit the continue. For next. Echo can help you monitor your home, allow members of your household to live stream this Echo Show camera at any time, anywhere through the Alexa app, and you have the option here to say not now or enable. You can also use the camera trigger routines when people are detected. So we'll go ahead and enable this. All set. This Echo Show will now appear as a camera in your Alexa app. Go to devices, cameras, in the app to try a live view. And we'll take a look at that in a second. To customize camera features, go to settings on this device. So we'll go ahead and hit done. And now we're pre pre presented with Amazon Sidewalk. It's a shared network that helps devices work better. It can help your compatible devices automatically connect and reconnect to your router, extend the coverage, for other devices like Ring Smart Lights, Pet and Object Trackers, and more, more uh, trackers and devices that you connect. So Sidewalk uses a small portion of your internet bandwidth to provide these services to you and your neighbors. This setting will apply to all supported Echo and Ring devices that are linked to your home. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable this for now. We don't have a ton of things like rings or trackers in our house, and no need to use any extra bandwidth on our network to support those, because we're not using them right now. But if you do have things like the Ring doorbell or other trackers or objects in your house, where you want this device to extend that network coverage, you may want to consider hitting the continue button on this. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit disable for now, and we'll move on to the next option here. So make this device kids friendly with Amazon Kids. You've got the option here to automatically filter explicit content, set bedtime limits and review activity. So if you're setting this up for a kid, you'll wanna hit yes and have those kid friendly options set up properly with your Amazon account. Since this is being set up for me here in the bedroom, we'll go ahead and hit no um, and discontinue the Amazon Kids features on this device. So next up it's loading and it's asking us about Amazon Music now. So this is a great opportunity. It's $5 a month, and you can play any song using Amazon Music. So you can start a free 30-day trial. We'll go ahead and say no thanks for this, um, but if you wanna use Amazon Music, you can do that. You can sign up for a 30-day trial, or if you already have a membership, it'll be preloaded right here. Next up is Audible. You can have audiobooks. You can start a 30-day trial straight from your Amazon Echo Show device right here if you want to listen to audiobooks. If you're a Prime member, you receive two credits 
uh, with Audio Premium, Audible Premium. So I'm gonna go ahead and decline this with the No Thanks option. So no Audible 30 day trial on my end, and we'll go ahead and hit No Thanks for that. But if you wanna subscribe to Audible, you can. And we're almost done. We get this beautiful sound. This device is ready. Yay, thank you, Alexa. This device is ready. It's such a calming sound. I love the sound design on this Amazon Alexa right here. It's already great. And we're first set up with our device. We've got the time in the top left. And of course, it resets and it fully loads. We have this background here. Um, and then it's, you know, we originally picked a um, a, a photo screen or a screen to show for our device and the setup process. So let's see what we get. Hi, I'm Alexa. It's playing through a series of Hi welcome. there. Welcome to your new device. I'm excited to show you a few things that you may not have tried yet. Let's get started. You can ask me to add items to your shopping list. Find your list anytime in the mobile app and save money at grocery stores. Try saying, Add milk to my shopping list. Add milk to my shopping list. Okay, I've added milk to your shopping list. Use your list in my companion app when you are shopping. You can shop directly from your list through your mobile app or carry it along to any grocery store. You can broadcast a message on all of your devices, like an intercom. I won't actually send out this announcement, but try saying, announce dinner's ready. Announce dinner is ready. Announcing. I'll cancel that announcement for now. This is a great way to send messages to everyone in your household. I can translate words and phrases for you. Try saying, how do you say happy birthday in Spanish? How do you say happy birthday in Spanish? Happy birthday in Spanish is Feliz cumpleaños. Great. You can ask me to translate words and phrases anytime. Check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, where you can get a $30 bonus today when you sign up using the link in the description, appfind.org slash Rakuten. You can shop at your favorite stores with over 3,500 stores to check out, and you install the plugin, create an account on Rakuten, and earn cash back today. It's really cool that you can come here and get paid to shop, and of course you can earn your $30 bonus today using the link in the description. This helps out the AppFind channel a lot, so check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, using the link appfind.org slash Rakuten. Let's take a look at the controls on the very top of this Alexa Show 5 here. On the very left, we have an option to mute the microphone. By default, this Alexa is always listening to you, and whenever you say the word Alexa, it'll activate and you'll be able to talk to it and get information from it. But if you do not want to uh, have it listening, there's this button right here. It's a circle with a slash through it. You can press it and you can see the red light pops up and it mutes the always on listening microphone. So now when you say the wake word, which is Alexa, it will no longer wake up and it will no longer process or listen to you. And in order to talk to it again, using that wake word, you'll need to press this button one more time and now it's listening. Next up, you've got volume buttons right here on the left and right. You've got the volume down. You can press it and see the little animation there on the screen as it brings the volume slider down. And then you can press it up and it will bring the volume up just right here on our Alexa device. And then on the right, we've got this manual switch to cover the camera that's on this device. You can slide it over. You can see now that the camera is slid all the way over and no longer accessible. So this is a privacy first solution. If you do not want anyone um, listening in or you know calling you and activating your microphone remotely, you can um, go ahead and slide the camera version right over here. You can see it covers the camera and it's no longer able to uh, you know be seen. And then of course, when you wanna have any kind of video call or you wanna listen and you can slide over the camera slider there and then it opens the camera just like that. You can see what it looks like when you slide the cover over and you uncover the camera just like that. So it covers it and it looks white and it covers it, it blends in with the border here and then when you undo the camera cover there, you can see the camera's on and 
Uh, it has this little message right here, camera cover closed. The camera is off until you open the camera cover. If you make or receive a video call or drop in, you'll see the other caller's video, but they won't see you. So that's how it works when you cover the camera right here on the right side of the device. And that's it. Those are all the buttons on the device. You can see on the bottom here, it's got this nice rubber texture here that lets you set it down and of course interact with it without it sliding too much. And then you've got the power section right here in the back. And that um, is the, the control options that we have here on our Alexa device. So let's go ahead and see how we navigate this. You can see this is what the home screen looks like. You've got the clock, you've got the date, you can see some notifications in the top, and then it uh, has this slideshow of fun information that comes across with things that you can say to Alexa, things that you can interact with, you can tap on the screen, and the main interaction point that you want to um, know when you're using this Alexa device is the ability to swipe down from the top. So when you swipe down from, from the top, you get access to this control panel with all of the device settings and all of the different features that you can interact with here on the Alexa device. We're going to explore those in a bit, but another fun thing you can do is swipe uh, throughout the different questions and different slideshows that they have. You just swipe over to the left and right and you can interact with these different uh, widgets that they have. We've got the weather widget right here. I can swipe over one more time. You can see a uh, shipment just arrived. It's connected to your Amazon account. And when I actually purchased this product and when I used the Amazon login, it enabled me to set up my Amazon account um, before I even received the device. So it, it notified me that the the, there was a shipment earlier this morning, so I can see that came in. Um, I can say, Alexa, read my notifications. I can co go ahead and swipe over some more, um, see what else we have. We've got some news. It's got a source right here from Fox News, and I can swipe over, see some daily insights, the NFL stat of the day. So you can continue to swipe on your Alexa in order to receive different types of news, different types of notifications. We can see a trending topic right now. It's the Cybertruck. And of course, um, you can say voice commands in order to uh, get more about this. So it has a little expert right here that says, try saying this. We can see here on the screen there is a play button. I can go ahead and hit that play button and learn more about the story. And it will play a little video for us right here with Bloomberg. This beast, deliveries. Talk to me about how transformational this might be for the company. It's a historic moment. I mean, it's four years in the making. And I think the reason it's important. You can pause this. You can skim around the video here with the uh, drop. You can see I just got a not another notification. A shipment has arrived with Amazon and I can say where's my stuff and it'll tell me where it's at. Um, so I can skim around this video, this new story here, right here on the Alexa. I can uh, rewind or fast forward it with these options right here in the lower left. And I've got multiple Live options. from Bloomberg TV Plus. So you can see you can interact with Alexa. You can ask it multiple questions. You can ask it things about the story that you're looking at. And again, we can start swiping around um, and seeing more details about the various different news stories and the various different widgets that are right here built into Alexa just by swiping over. Now let's take a look at what's on the control panel. So we can swipe down and we have a few settings right here. So first up we have home, which gets us back to our, our clock and all the different news stories and widgets. We can swipe down again and see we've got settings. We can access all of the various different settings on our Alexa. And this allows us to customize things so you can see which Bluetooth devices are connected. You can see the network. You can see, you know, if you want to reconnect your Wi-Fi network or your um, different access points, you can do that right here in the settings. And you can also see the profile and family. Um, so you can see which Amazon is connected, which member of the family is using it. So you can see all the different kit accounts um, and all the different users right here inside of Alexa. You can hit the back button and we can see what else we have in settings. We've got the do not disturb option. So this is important if you want uh, to not be notified of any notifications or calls or anything. If you want some um, you know, silence from your device, you can go ahead and enter do not disturb mode and it will not notify you of any notifications and any drop-ins, any phone calls. All of that data will be silenced and it will not disturb you when you're in do not disturb mode. You can set this up on a schedule and have it reoccur 
recurring. Let's say it starts at 10 p.m. and ends at 7 a.m. the next day. You can turn off that schedule just by selecting that button right over there. So we'll go ahead and turn off do not disturb mode. And today's video is sponsored by Bot Builders. If you've seen AI and wondered how you can make money using AI, then this free Bot Builders webinar is something you should definitely sign up for. You'll learn how you can generate a passive income by building AI bots for businesses even if you have no tech experience. Sign up for the free AI Masterclass today using the link in the description or going to appfine.org slash botbuilders. It's a free AI Masterclass hosted by one of the top mini chat bot experts, Matt Leitz, where he will walk you through how you can earn an income by building AI bots for businesses and take advantage of the AI revolution. You can sign up for the free AI Masterclass at appfine.org slash botbuilders or using the link in the description. I'm going to show you another fun way that you can enable do not disturb mode straight from the control panel when you swipe down. So when we swipe down here, next to settings, there is a do not disturb button right here that you can press and get access to it quickly without having to go into settings. And just like that, we've turned on do not disturb and it will not notify us. You can see that there's a little nighttime mode, uh, a little... Um, icon right here representing do not disturb in the top right that lets us know that it's on. You can tap your notifications and see any notifications we have. So you can see that shipment notification that we received earlier today has arrived. We're all caught up and we can see any um, other previous notifications. You can see I got a return item from Amazon, more shipment notifications from Amazon, some interesting stories here that came from the NFL news station right here and more. So there's tons of different options here that you can see right here on your Amazon, uh, your show with all the various different notifications. And of course, when you exit out, you can go back to your home screen. Let's dive right back into our settings by swiping down from the top and tapping the settings button. And here we have access again to Bluetooth network, your profile, family, Dis do not disturb. Next up is display and brightness. You can adjust the brightness of all your settings here on your, um, your display and brightness of the Echo Show 5. If you want to increase the brightness, you just swipe all the way to the right. If you want to decrease it, you swipe all the way over to the left. So we'll keep it right there in the middle. And then of course we got this feature called the adaptive brightness turned on, which will automatically adjust the screen brightness based off the available light. And you can have the sunrise effect, so it will gradually um, you know, wake up the device with the sunrise effect. Um, and adjust the brightness accordingly. So, so let's go right back into settings and scroll down to display and brightness and see what other features we have. Awesome. Um, so auto dim, it'll automatically dim the screen brightness after 10 minutes of inactivity to save energy. So we've got some great display and brightness controls right here in our Amazon Alexa. Next up, we've got Amazon Kids. This is currently disabled because... Um, Amazon Kids Plus is a premium digital service where kids can freely access the Hey Disney magical companion, engaging kid-friendly character voices and explore thousands of ad-free audible books, kids and family podcasts, premium Alexa skills and more. Amazon Kids Plus is free for one month, and after that, you'll be automatically charged $4.99 per month as a prime customer. You can cancel anytime. See terms in the Alexa app. Get your one month free trial now. Should I sign you up? No. No problem. If you change your mind, just say, Alexa, what is Amazon Kids Plus? So just like that, we're able to go into the settings. It offered us a subscription for the Amazon Kids Plus. We declined that. And of course, you can see more information by scrolling right back down to Amazon Kids. And um, we can enable that with swiping over this option right here. We can see that it's disabled right now. But if this is going in a kid room, we can go ahead and turn it on and select a kid profile and make sure that um, all of the Alexa responses are kid appropriate and it's providing um, information strictly for the kid. And of course, you've got various different settings here. Um, Amazon Kids, you can set it up, assign that Kids Plus subscription to that account, and they can get a kid experience with you know, all the audio books and the music, and um, you can set time limits and more. So we'll go ahead and exit out of this, and uh, we'll go back and see what other settings we have right here on our device. So next up, we've got Alexa Privacy. To modify the settings, you must confirm um, it looks like it disappeared there, so we can swipe down, go to settings, 
and reread that option that we have there. So we'll just scroll down to Alexa Privacy. To modify these, you must confirm using your Amazon password. So I'm not gonna do this on this account, but this will allow you to adjust your privacy settings if you want to um, you know, make sure Alexa is not sending your voice recordings or any of your data to Amazon. Um, you can change your Alexa privacy settings that way right here, but you will need to confirm your password in order to do that successfully. Next up is home and clock. So one cool thing about the home and clock is you can add photos to it and you can customize that complete experience just by tapping the clock and photo display. And we can come here, we can add in some personal photos that are in our Amazon library um, and we can adjust the clock face. So right now we have the clock face set for the time. Um, we can change that up a little bit, change some of the designs. You can see all the various different designs we have right here. Um, we can go ahead and select, oh, well, these clocks look great. You've got an analog clock, um, you've got digital clocks, you've got various different options here. We can go ahead and select um, one different font face here. Let's keep scrolling. I like this one right here. I'll go ahead and tap on it and tap the check mark. And now I have customized the clock face and I can go ahead, see what else I can customize. So those are some options that you have to modify the clock and display uh, right here inside of home and clock. You can see what kind of home content is available for your Alexa. You've got Alexa Creative AI and it discovers how to co-create stories with Alexa, Alexa profiles. So related actions to your family if you have multiple accounts on your Alexa. Alexa suggests, you can explore suggestions made by Alexa, comedy, free comedy videos, communications, continue watching videos that you're in progress already making, daily insights, discovery, drop-in, entertainment, finance, fire TV, follow updates, food inspiration, fun with Alexa, local news, notifications, photo highlights, popular on Alexa, popular questions, the list goes on. You can see that there's over two dozen options here of home content that you can possibly see when using your Alexa device. And you can come over here and scroll it and deselect that option if you want to. If you don't want to see the weather forecast, you can just turn it off just by tapping that button right there or if you don't want to see weather alerts you can tap it and it disables that option right there so if you want to turn it on you can keep it on just like that and this this is content that's going to show up on the home screen throughout the day as you're looking at your Alexa so this is very helpful to come in here and see what kind of content shows up on the home screen and turn off any content that you do not want to see we can go back to our main settings here. We can scroll down to home and clock and see if there's any more information, such as like night mode, if we want to adjust any of our settings for night mode. Right now it's set from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. daily. You can change the time on that. You got the automatic switch to night mode based off available light. So if you turn off all of your lights, it'll automatically go into night mode just like that. And you can go back and you can see the option to turn on the 24 hour clock right here in the home and clock settings inside of the Alexa. Alexa app. So let's go ahead and go back to the home. We'll hit the back button and it will take us right back to our home screen right here. And we can swipe down and see what other settings we have by tapping the settings button and scroll down. We've got sound settings. So you can change the media, the equalizer and the alarm and tons of more things right here with custom sounds and request sounds. Let's take a look at what else we have. We've got camera options right here. We can tap on camera. We've got home monitoring, so it enables remote access to this device's camera stream. You've got the live view. You can create a video delay or an audio alert. Um, so you can turn this on, and this is really helpful. An audio alert will play when your camera begins streaming. So if someone drops in or they create a video call with you, it'll let you know before, um, you know, the, before turning it on that the camera is recording with an audio alert. So really helpful here that you can come on here and turn that setting on. Let's see what else we have. We've got communication options. You can tap on that. Incoming call ringer notifications. We can restrict access on our Alexa. So we can turn off Amazon Photos, web browser, web video search, and video providers. We can restrict the access to certain settings so you won't see those right here on your Alexa inside the settings. Um, we can come over to calendar, you know, you can um, see who the calendar owner is. And of course, 
um, link the proper calendar to your device and get updates when you have meetings and that kind of things right here on your Alexa device. So we can scroll down, see what other settings there are, like things to try, help, accessibility, and legal compliance. So these are all helpful options that you can come into your Alexa and get settings for in order to change the way your Alexa works. So we can swipe down one more time and see all of the various different options right here in our control panel in order to use our Alexa. So you noticed earlier we used the brightness by tapping the settings, but there's a quick toggle for the brightness. You just swipe down, you tap brightness, and it automatically opens up the settings, display and brightness without having to go into the settings app. You can swipe down from anywhere on the screen to access the control panel. You can go and you can click notifications right here to access all your notifications and we can see we're all caught up right now. So in the event that you want to review any of your past notifications, it shows up to 50 notifications from the past 30 days. We can swipe down and see what else we have, like alarms, so if we have any alarms that we want to turn on. There are no alarms set. And one cool thing is we can talk to Alexa. So all we have to do is just say, Alexa, set a weekday alarm for 9 a.m. every morning. Good afternoon, Justin. Alarm for what time? 9 a.m. every weekday. Alarm set for every weekday at 9 a.m. When your alarm sounds, if you need a few more minutes, just ask me to snooze. And just like that, we've set our first alarm and we've talked to Alexa. And all you have to do in order to talk to Alexa is just say the word Alexa and finish out a sentence to it. So we'll go ahead and dive into some prompts right now. So if we swipe down, we can press the home button. And now if you want to know what the weather is, all you have to do is just ask. Alexa, what's the weather outside? The current weather is 59 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Today, you can expect partly sunny weather with a high of 61 degrees and a low of 54 degrees. Alexa, what's the weather in Boston? In Boston, Massachusetts, it's 49 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Tonight, you can look for showers with a low of 43 degrees. So you can ask it in multiple locations. You can use the phrase, Alexa, what's the trending story right now? You can ask it to get news, and then it goes out and it looks for more information. I believe the three best teams in football are Kansas City, Philly, and San Francisco. So it plays this Fox Sports News article right here. Um, the 49ers and Eagles are really popular right now, and it's asking and telling us more information about that. Alexa, go home. Alexa, go home. So just like that, we can use the phrase Alexa, go home, and it takes us right back to our home screen. You can ask Alexa to set alarms. You can ask Alexa to tell you the news. You can ask Alexa um, to do almost just about anything. And all you have to do is just say the word Alexa and follow up with your prompt. You can see this blue light pops up at the very bottom here. It lets us know that it's listening. So I can say, Alexa, disable my 9 a.m. alarm. Your next 9 a.m. alarm is canceled. Would you like to cancel this alarm for every weekday? Yes, please. Alarm for every weekday at 9 a.m. canceled. And just like that, we've canceled our alarms. So one of the best things about Alexa is that you can interact with it just by talking to it. You don't have to always go into the settings. Um, you don't always have to um, you know, tap the screen, but it is touch screen, so you can maneuver it with touch. You can go home. You don't always have to use voice. But um, you can see different prompts right here. Like, for example, they've got a prompt right here. Alexa, can you auto-tune? Work it, make it, do it. Makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. And just like that, you can ask it any question that pops up on the screen. Alexa can definitely auto-tune, and that was really cool. Um, so, Alexa, go home. So just like that, we can continue to scroll around, see what other prompts are available. You can use the prompt right here, what's the story, and get more information on the story that's on the screen. We can scroll over and see what's the NFL stat of the day right here. So it gives us little prompts on the screen to help us use the Alexa device. 
And of course, you can ask it almost anything, um, especially when you want to get results like sports scores, or um, we can see our deliveries, like where's my stuff. We can see that I got some stuff today and I'm getting stuff tomorrow from Amazon. So you've got multiple different options right here on your Alexa device. So we can see here our social feed use Alexa to translate in a hundred different languages. Alexa, say great in German. Great in German is großartig. So you can use it for translation. You can use Alexa for just about anything and it makes it really helpful to come in here and have all of your different content right here on your Alexa device. You can see here, um, we can try music. All you have to do is just ask Alexa, but due to copyright streams, I'm not allowed to play music for you, but you can use the word, the wake work Alexa, and then say play and name a song, and it will play that for you. So it's really cool that you can play music. If you have an Amazon music subscription, that will be handy. But of course, um, you're able to come in here and use Alexa to voice activate your music listening experience. So really fun ways that you can interact with Alexa right here on your device. And all you have to do is just either talk to it or swipe down and swipe around on the screen and interact with it. So let's check out some other features that they have right here on the Alexa, starting with the smart home. If you have things like a light bulb or different um, rooms where there's smart home connected devices, you can swipe down, you can tap on the smart home button and you can see all of your different lights and different things in the house. And if you want to turn off one, you just tap it just like this. And we turned off the shelf light inside of this room. You can tap it one more time and it turns on the light. We can see that we have these into groups, for example, like the office and the main bedroom. So I can see that all the lights in the office are on and I can tap it once and it turns all the lights in the office off. I can tap it one more time and it turns the lights back on. You can also use voice to do this. For example, you can say, Alexa, turn off the office. Okay. And then it turns off the lights in the office. So it's really cool that you've got options for smart home control devices right here inside of Alexa. And of course you will need to go inside of the app and in install a, um, you know, a version of your software, depending on the manufacturer of the light, you'll need to connect that to your Alexa app. So, I'll show you how that's connected later in this video. You've got various different options right here inside of your Alexa. Um, you've got music, you can communicate such as doing video calls, and it likes to, to swipe, if you swipe down and don't select something very fast, it goes right back to the home screen very quickly. Um, you've got routines. Routines are very cool. You can tap on these and um, you can have different routines such as good morning lights on or good night or let there be light. And what these routines do are specific automations in the home. So the featured one right now is I'm home. Alexa can welcome you home with the day's news and relaxing music. I can turn this on and then whenever I say Alexa, I'm home, it'll go through this process and do a routine where it tells me, um, you know, about the day's news and the relaxing music. And then you can see you can customize all of your different routines inside of the Alexa app and it will automate um, whatever you program it to do inside of that routine. So really cool feature right here inside of the Alexa devices. So we can swipe down and see other cool features like video and active media. Um, but the best part about Alexa is that you can interact with it through voice and you can always use the Alexa app on your phone in order to you know, set up new features or learn more about the device. So you can download the Alexa app in your app store and we'll slide back and take a look at what this looks like here inside of our apps. So by default on the home section, you're, you're presented with all of your different favorites, your activity. It can see that we reviewed Amazon Kids Plus, our shopping list, our devices that were recently added. Um, we can come over here and play with some of the lights, smart switches that we added. If you wanna add a device, you can go over to the devices section and there's a plus button at the very top here inside of the app. And then you hit that plus button and you can add an Echo smart home accessory. You can create a group. And when you hit add device, you'll just scroll through and find whatever device that you have that's smart home compatible, such as for example, if you have a light, then you'll select that brand, the person that manufactured this brand and this light will just go ahead and select whichever one. And then it'll tell you how to connect to it with 
with Alexa. So I've already connected all of my different lights here. So they're already set up right here inside of the Alexa app. And it's really handy that I can come in here, I can turn on the light just by tapping it just like that, or I can turn off a light just like that using Alexa. I can go over to the more section and we'll, we'll go over here. More is where I get all of the settings and all the different devices that I can remotely access on the Alexa right here. You can see as you swipe around, there's tons of different options that we have, and we can tap on whichever settings that we want, such as routines. We saw these earlier um, where you can come over here, we can create a health and wellness routine. We can tap on it and see what the different options are for that, like the weather and pollen forecast. Alexa will tell you the weather and pollen forecast in the morning. If we want this routine, we tap on it. We say when we want it, weekdays at 7 a.m. We can set the volume. We can customize this different automation. We can rearrange the different options. Maybe we want the time at the very top. So we can scroll that up. Um, and now we can go ahead and say where we want to hear this from. We'll go ahead and select. You can see all the different Alexas you have in your house. This one over here is the Alexa Show 5 third gen. And then we'll go ahead and hit save. So now this routine has been created and I can go to your routines and I can see the weather and pollen forecast has been created inside of the Alexa app right here on my phone and I can tap on it. It happens weekdays at seven. And of course, I can always just talk to Alexa and say, Alexa, what's the weather and pollen forecast? And since I have both listening devices, I'm gonna lock my phone, bring in the Alexa and try it. Alexa, what's the weather and pollen forecast? The current weather is 59 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today, you can look for partly sunny weather with a high of 60 degrees and a low of 54 degrees. And just like that, we're able to use voice to get the weather and all the different accesses that we have right there. So this is the Alexa app. It's highly advanced and you can program almost anything in here with your Alexa device. You can see all of your smart home devices in one spot. You can interact with them. You can set routines. You can add new devices and they make it really easy to do so right here inside of the application itself. So there's plenty of different options that we have here. And when you get your Alexa, you're able to come in here and make as many changes as you want. You've got different reminders. You can come over here, add a reminder, and then Alexa will remind you when you get home. You can modify the timers. You can see that we set this 9 a.m. alarm earlier. It's currently off. We can swipe it back on if we want to, but I'm going to swipe it back off so it doesn't wake up in the office here and now i can see you know anything else like the calendar the list of notes the music the skills and games skills and games is a fun one to check out you can use alexa to interact with you know various different apps just by saying alexa um, and then typing in or saying that uh, game name like song quiz or question of the day or open are you smarter so you can see all the different games that are open and available on the alexa discovery page right here and it makes it very fun to come in here and interact with on your Alexa. So there's tons of different settings that we have whether you're getting the news, controlling a smart home device or getting information about the weather or creating alarms or just talking to it. Another fun one you can ask is Alexa tell me a joke. Alexa Alexa tell me a joke. What kind of platypus has blue blood? An aristocratopus. So just like that, it can tell you jokes, you can interact with it, you can talk to it, it can help you rem remember things. So Alexa is very powerful and it's very simple to set up. All you have to do is just plug it in, do a few steps like connecting it to your Amazon account and your Wi-Fi network, and you are good to go. To see the best AI tools and apps, go to appfind.ai for a full list of hundreds of tools. Also, subscribe to our weekly newsletter using the link in the description at appfind.ai slash newsletter to get a weekly email update of the best AI tools in your inbox. And make sure to sign up for other recommended newsletters as well. That way, you can always stay up to date with the latest AI tools in tech. This has been a complete beginner's guide of the Echo Show in this lovely blue color. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and let us know what your favorite Echo Show feature is in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to learn when we release our next technology video. We love producing these technology videos for you and can't wait to create the next one. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.